Hi, my name is Gabriel. How are you doing? You can also call me Nick. We're reacting to a video by a guy called Luna. Um, it's Luna. He's a really good guy. He, um, he has a crazy ass life like me, so it's gonna be interesting to see if I can relate to some of the things. I've watched a lot of his videos, and I can't say that a few things have happened to me. I'm talking so, so fast right now. I drank an energy drink, so, like, to stay awake so that I could edit videos, so now I'm going insane. By the way, I really don't edit videos except for my gotcha videos, because I gotta put those together screenshot by screenshot by screenshot by screenshot by screenshot. We got a person trying to do ASMR about a beer, so, no. Okay, here we go. To Luna. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin, or Luna. In today's video, I'm talking about something that involves my friend and his sister, his fucking little sister. I don't know how this ever could happen, but we almost got pretty much arrested because of his little fucking sister oh, being an idiot. Over the dumbest fucking reason I've ever heard oh, in my I'm life, not, and I, I want to talk about it today. So, about four months ago, I'm hanging out with one of my friends. We were at the mall with his sister. His sister was shopping, and we were just kind of sitting there, like, following her store to fucking store. I had a milkshake with me, so I was good. You know, I'm just sitting there fucking sipping my milkshake. She's okay. shopping, this is, me and my friend are talking, and we go into a store over. that sells fucking, like, all graphic I've tees, with, like, like friends, it's the type of shit with them? that you would see, like, like, like the Raw XD shirts, like, shit like us? that, that's the type of stuff this store sold, and we went in there, and she's, like, looking at some of those shirts, and she's trying them on and stuff, like, over hers, and she had her jacket with her, okay, she had, like, her hoodie over her shoulder, and I got distracted by all the clothes, so I, like, go and start looking at my own stuff, and, you know, I'm in the guy section, and we leave this store because she couldn't find anything she wanted, and she had her hoodie on at this point. Like, she basically... So this is what she did, okay? She put on one of the shirts, didn't fucking pay for it, and then zipped her hoodie up over it to hide it and walked out of the store. And I guess the it didn't fuck? have one of those tags on it, so it didn't go off when she left. And she pretty much stole a shirt without us even fucking knowing, and we leave, and we end up splitting up because me and my friend wanted to go and do our own thing and, like, look for clothes for ourselves, and she just wanted to keep shopping on her own. And we split up, and she goes her own way, we go our own way, and we're in this fucking store looking at our own stuff now, and she's in some completely different store, we had no idea where she even went off to, and we're in this store just looking, and all of a sudden I get a tap on the shoulder, and I turn around to fucking four security guards, like with their arms crossed. Like four different Paul Blarts sitting there just waiting to fucking jump on me. Yo, <laughs> take me to justice. Okay, so I don't I'm think that's what happened just to me. a little bit, but they were standing there looking pretty pissed off, and when me and my friend noticed them, they were not happy with us. And one of them was just like, all right, come with me. And I said, I was like, wait, why? Because I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking follow them to some random room if I didn't do anything wrong, right? And I was like, no, wait, why? And they're like, come on, you know what you did. And I was just like, uh, I, I haven't bought anything. What do you mean, what? And the dude freaks out. He's like, just come on. And he, like, yells at me. I was like, okay. He's fucking pissed. I don't want him to get the segue and run me over. So I follow them to this office with my friend. We get sat down in this office, and they bring my friend's little sister in after us. And she's, like, crying her eyes out. And I just was like, wait, what the fuck is happening? I was so confused. I didn't know what was going on. And one of the security guards, like, holds this shirt up, and he's like, yeah, she stole this. You guys were there. Was it a group effort? What's going on? And I look, and it's a fucking t-shirt that says just the word dangerous on it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. She, she literally risked getting arrested for a fucking t-shirt that was, like, $15, probably $20, that said dangerous on it. Motherfucker risked me, too. Like, I got in trouble, too, for this. And shit, yeah, she's real dangerous. She's a fucking rebel, man. She stole a $15 graphic tee. That's how you know you're a badass. Like, no fucking joke. You could lock this girl up in a cell with some of, like, the top five most dangerous criminals in the world. And she'd be like, yeah, I stole a graphic tee from the mall once. I would fucking run. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, right, I was fucking it's around, coming. Seriously, I have stolen Yeah, I was just like, oh, I have no idea that. how she did that or when she did that. And they were like, are you sure? Because you were in the store with her. And I should I was like, do yeah, story I swear, I have no I'll idea how you. that happened. He's like, are you sure? You really don't look like the one to, you know, act so innocent. You look like that type of kid that does the same exact stuff. And he points to my clothes and pretty much basically said, oh, the clothes you're wearing means that you're a fucking criminal and you probably steal too. That's pretty much the message I got out of all this. And I was doing all the talking anyway, so I was pissed off because, you know, my friend's sister, the person that got us into this bullshit wasn't talking and my friend wasn't talking. So I just got mad and I was like, you know what? Fuck this. So I stood up and started going towards the exit and he like gets in my way. He's like, you can't leave. I was like, dude, I'm not going to sit here and take shit for a girl stealing a girl's t-shirt. Like, I had nothing to do with it. And he's like, yeah, whatever, keep being a hooligan. And he gets out of my way. And one part of me was like, oh, shit, he moved out of the way. Fuck, I get to leave. Awesome. And the other part of me was like, am I dealing with Mr. Mosby of security guards? He just called me a fucking hooligan. So I turned around and I was like, hooligan? Out of all the words, hooligan? Really? And he's just like, get out of my sight. I was like, alright guys, let's go. And my friend and his sister got up. They start walking towards the door. The security guard's like, no, they can't come with you. You can leave. I was like, no, he didn't see it either. It was a misunderstanding. You got the shirt back. We're just going to leave. 
He's like, the hell you're not. I'm calling the police. And I just looked at him. I was like, man, it's a t-shirt. We had no idea she stole it. Yes, she's wrong for stealing it. But dude, it's it's a fucking t-shirt. Like, you got it back. Can we just leave? Can we make this easy on ourselves? Like, I know that your job's cool. You get to make fun of kids for a living. But please just let us leave. And when I said that, I was just kind of like heat in the moment. I was pissed off. I really thought that he was just going to like put me in handcuffs and be like, all right, I'm calling the cops. But he opened That's the door. And he's just like, I never want to see you guys again. And he pointed us out. And we got out to the parking lot after leaving the mall. I was just relieved that somehow I managed to talk us out of that whole situation while being able to like say what's on my mind. That was fucking cool. But yeah, we got off pretty much scot-free. We went back to the mall like the next week and they didn't kick us out. And every time we're there, they never even kick us out. So we're still allowed there, which is sick. I can't even tell you how many times they've told me to never come back to that place. And I still come back and shop and they see me and they don't give a fuck. It's just kind of like <laughs> That's me. But still, I thought this was a pretty have, funny I've story about so how my friends and sister things. pretty much like, almost got really us fucking in trouble with, with these police awesome over cookies. a fucking graphic I'll give you this I don't even want to. Dangerous. Quick, what kind of cool shirt is that? That's so stupid looking. Anyway, I'm getting angry over a t-shirt. I need to chill out. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please leave a like for this funny story. I would really appreciate it. Leave your funny stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Okay, so basically, there's this place with, like, these delicious cookies and some really good homemade stuff, like, from scratch. And it's always so warm and delicious and smells great. And I usually go there when I have some, like, when I have, like, 20 bucks, buy a few cookies, maybe get, maybe get a set of donuts or something, you know? Let's just treat myself to something. And, like, this one time I walked in, and, um, and my friend, and my friend, I guess he was trying to be a badass towards me, he, um, stole one of them wrapped, like, like, one of the cookies that you would like get for your kids like like those little ones with like batman on it or something yeah he stole one of those and he tried to get the check out and i noticed it and i took it out of his pocket and i like just like threw it and i kind of just like threw it and i got in trouble for throwing the cookie and that's what i got in trouble for and they said and they got angry at me and they told me to get out so i got out and I like came back and like and like um and I and I was walking around. Okay. Oh, this is getting so annoying. So about a week ago I came so about a week later I came back and I got some and I got some more stuff and I checked out. And right as I was checking out, um this one kid this one little kid, this one little kid and I was so angry too because I was just about to check out managed to slide something into my pocket. Like, I didn't even notice. I think he slid, like, a lollipop or something. And somehow, somehow, it set off the alarms. So I got inside of so much trouble, and they're like, never come back here again. I don't want to see you. It was a lollipop, bro. It was a lollipop. It was, like, it was it was legit, like, it was legit just, like, a small little, like, bubblegum lollipop. It was, like, a freaking toots. It was, like, a tootsie roll. Come on, bro. I did come back, and they didn't mind me there. I, I don't think I've ever done that anywhere else. I know in the mall one time, we free run through the mall, and I got inside of hell of trouble, and they caught me. By free run, I mean we ran basically everywhere that we weren't allowed to. We ran through, like, we were, like, jumping onto things and being insane because we were being stupid. So, yeah, I remember that happened. One more video. But I'm still going oh, to the boy. mall to this day. Yes. Oh, oh, you, you get to, you get to, uh, you get to put the ring on. I like how long it took him to say that. Alright, so I've been debating, like, literally back and forth in my head if I want to talk about this or not. Because, like, let's be real, we've kind of built this channel at this point on fucked up stories, but this one is, like, gross. And when I saw it, and I witnessed it, I was lost for words, and I literally thought, a minute after it happened, I was like, I don't know if I'll ever talk about this, because, I mean, it was pretty recent. But it's just kind of gross, so, I mean, if you're eating something, I'd come back later. And I'm also okay. streaming, so if you guys want to come check out the stream, I'll be live. After this video goes up, okay. I'll link it in the description. I'm just going to be fucking buying the new CSGO cases, probably making my wallet cry. But anyway, Bye -bye, about two months ago, I'm hanging out with my friend, one of my best friends at his house. It was just me and him, and his parents were out of town, and he wanted to plan, like, this party. And I, to be honest, didn't even want to go. When he mentioned having a party, I was just like, you know, I'll hang out with him for a little bit. When the party gets too, like, crowded, I'll just leave because I live fairly close to him. So I'm sitting there at my friend's house on his couch, just, like, on my phone watching TV. Some more people showed up, and then, sure enough, by, like, I'd say 11 o'clock at night, the whole fucking place was packed at my friend's house. Shit was getting ridiculous. He was overwhelmed. I was kind of overwhelmed. I always get overwhelmed at places like this. 
And guess what? I didn't end up leaving. I fucking stayed the entire night because when I wanted to leave, you know, it would have been the smart thing to do to leave. I would have avoided everything that happens in this story. But when I wanted to leave, my friend begged me to fucking stay. He's like, come on, dude. Like, don't be a bitch. Just stay here. Hang out. He's like, what are you going to do when you go home, dude? Just work on stuff? Like, don't stress yourself out. It's a nice night. And I was like, okay, yeah, you do make a good point. I'll fucking hang out. I'll stay for the night. And to be honest, the whole night was actually pretty fun. Like, about halfway through, I got kind of tired. I went downstairs to the basement where there were some people, but it wasn't, like, super crowded like it was upstairs. And I was just sitting on my phone on the couch. And I ended up passing out fairly quickly. And I woke up in the middle of the fucking night to someone coming downstairs with, like, light beaming down because I guess everyone ended up leaving to go upstairs once I fell asleep. And I think someone else slept on the couch next to me, but I don't really know who he was. But basically, when they found out that people were sleeping down there, everyone just kind of moved upstairs and shut the door and shut the lights off. So I woke up to the door being opened and, like, someone coming downstairs with a big beaming light from upstairs shining down. And someone comes down, falls when he hits the ground, okay? Like, completely falls on their fucking face. I can kind of see as I look over the couch. He turns the lights on, like he hits the switch, and he stumbles over to my friend's setup. Now, my friend, he's a huge fucking gamer. He has like 10 times the setup I do. His PC is fucking beast. Like, it's a huge tower, and he custom built it, and he knows how to do everything with computers and all that. And, you know, it just kind of puts mine to shame. So when I saw someone going near his setup, I was like, what the fuck is he doing? You know, it's a really expensive piece of, I guess, equipment slash setup or whatever. So when I saw someone going in near it, I was like, what could he, you know, is he going to steal something? Is he going to, like, go on it? And then I look, and I see him fall over the tower. Like, he completely falls over, and he's, like, hugging it. And I was like, yo, get away from his tower. That thing's really expensive. And he just ignored me. Like, he mumbled, and he kept ignoring me. And all of a sudden, I start hearing these weird sounds as he's pressed up against my friend's PC, like, hugging it, and, like, on his knees. And I could barely see anything, so it was so dark. So I whipped my phone out, and I turned the flashlight on. And when I turned the flashlight on, I could just see what this kid was doing. And I was like, nope, it's not the fucking time for this. I just woke up. Are you fucking kidding me? And I started screaming at this kid because basically, guys, he was um, he was pissing on my friend's computer. I don't know why. I don't know what would possess you to do that if you're drunk. I would rather pee on the fucking floor than go over to a computer, fall on top of it, probably damage it in the process, and then pee on it. Why? I don't know how many of you guys have been subbed to me for long, but I actually talked about an experience. I actually literally witnessed someone pee in an acoustic guitar. I've seen people piss on stuff before parties. It's completely disgusting. This is pretty similar to that, but a computer, like me being a nerd deep down, seeing that broke my heart, okay? But yeah, I continued to scream at him and call him a fucking idiot for doing that, and he just wouldn't listen. He just kept, like, happily pissing all over my friend's PC, and I know someone's just going to comment and be like, Luna... You're a fucking scumbag. Like, you honestly just should die, because why wouldn't you go over there and pull him off? Well, guys, he was very, very intoxicated, and when when you're intoxicated, you pee a lot, okay? I didn't want to touch him and then become his urinal and have him turn around and, like, pee all over me or something. I'm not a fucking urinal. I don't want to get peed on. So I didn't touch him. That's why. But I kept yelling at him, and he just kept, like, mumbling and pissing all over my friend's computer, and me yelling sparked people to come downstairs, and some girl came downstairs who I've never even seen before. But she saw it, and this girl is forever my hero, she went over to him and like straight up just slapped him in the face, and he literally stopped peeing. I have no idea how, I don't know like what power she has, but yeah, one slap to the face, he stopped peeing immediately, she pulled him off the computer, and he just got up and she walked him upstairs and apparently kicked him out, I didn't watch, but she kicked him out, he was gone. But my friend runs downstairs and he just looks me in the eyes, and I just shook my head and was just like, dude, I tried, I can't say I didn't try. He's like, no, no, it's not your fault, but... What exactly did he do? I was like, he literally just came down here, went over to your computer like he had a boner for it, and he just straight up fucking jumped on that shit and started going at it. He's like, what? I was like, no, I'm kidding. He just peed on it. He's like, still, what? And he runs over to it, and he quickly moves it out from, you know, where the kid was pissing on it, and he starts, like, cleaning it with a wipe, and it turned on, surprisingly. I thought that this kid actually, like, got piss inside his computer and broke it, but I guess he didn't. Like I said, I wasn't trying to look too far into it, but... Yeah, pretty gross shit. But in the end, everything ended up being okay, which is good. But still, it's disgusting that I've witnessed more than one occurrence like this. Really disgusting. But, yep, another story for the fucked up books. Hey, I guess in the end, at least he didn't hump it or some shit. That would have made this just ten times weirder. I don't think I would have talked about this if this kid actually humped a computer. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the fucked up story today. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe. I've seen some people do some stupid stuff. What's going on, people? I am Kevin Hart, a.k.a. Mr. Comedic Rockstar.
My friend, my, not my hey, what's friend, up guys, it's Austin, or Luna, and today's friend. video is of course friend, late, so it wouldn't like be a video without that, right, being late, but um, yeah, today's video I'm talking about something that happened last summer, and he I hung out all last summer, doing pretty bitch. awesome things, and I enjoyed it a lot, it was probably was better slightly, than this summer, but I, had I still had a great summer this summer, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to fucking say that it sucked, but my friends actually rented a house last summer, and they offered for me to move into it with them, like permanently, and at first I was like, no, like, you know, don't really want to leave. I like where I'm at. And then they were like, well, why don't you just come down for a month of the summer? And I was like, okay, that's actually a really good idea. So I brought my entire setup last summer to my friend's house that he rented and stayed with my friend and this other person. And I was planning to spend the whole fucking summer there pretty much, like most of it. And when I went, the first two weeks were fucking perfect. Like everything was awesome. Everything was great. And then on one night of staying at this house, someone has to come in and fuck everything up and of course i have to be the one to deal with it right so normal night at the house 2 a.m everyone goes to bed right i'm sitting in my room and my room was pretty fucking ripped apart like the bed was just on the floor we didn't buy like an official bed frame or anything because you know i was just staying for a month so i didn't really care so i'm laying on a fucking mattress on the floor on my phone just sitting there and it's 2 a.m my friend's already passed out and i'm obviously not falling asleep because you know i'm fucking me and all of a sudden I hear some weird noise outside my door. And if you open my door, what you could see was like basically the main living room and then like the kitchen. And my friend's rooms were like in this hallway. I was pretty split up from everyone. So I heard something right outside my door. And I was like, okay, what the fuck's my friend cooking? Because it sounded like someone was cooking. Or at least the sound that I heard sounded like pots and pans or just anything like that. So I open the door and I just see this girl, probably like the same age, if not like maybe a year or two older than me, just standing in the middle of the fucking kitchen. And I didn't just want to, like, pick something up and throw it at her and be like, hey, get the fuck out of my house, you weirdo. I was like, wait, this girl looks like someone my friend could have invited over because my friend would always have people coming over, and that includes girls, and sometimes late at night they would just come through, and he would just give us no fucking warning whatsoever either. So I didn't think much of it, but I look, and I just keep, like, staring, and she turns around and sees me, and that's when everything just got weird. We, like, stared down at each other for, like, a solid second, and I was just like, uh... Did Ian invite you over? And she's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, my bad. You scared the shit out of me. Let me go grab him. So I run into Ian's room, my friend. He's the one that was running the house. And I, like, tap him on the shoulder. I was like, yo, your girl's here. He's like, what do you mean my girl's here? He's like, you invited a girl over, right? And his eyes just get, like, super bold. He's like, no, did you invite a girl over? I was like, no, that's why I'm asking you. He's like, did Josh? And Josh is the other person staying with us. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I run out of his room, quickly look, and sure enough... She's not in the kitchen anymore. So I was like, oh, fuck, where'd she go? And I start screaming. I'm like, Josh, Josh, wake up. And I'm running through the entire house just looking for I've, her. I've had and then people I thought try to, to rob me. I like, I've fucking lost it. I'm literally too. going crazy. Fucking I saw a girl super late phone. at night. She probably wasn't even there. I'm probably going fucking insane. I'm literally bitch. hallucinating. But Actually, my friend Josh comes out and he's like, dude, what the fuck is going on? And both my friends are standing there in front of me. And I just turn around and I was like, there was literally a girl here. Like, I swear, I saw someone here. I talked to her. He's like... Why would a girl break into our house? I was like, I don't fucking know. Maybe to steal something? He's like, whatever. Just go check the door. So I run downstairs. And the way the house was set up is like there was the door. You go through the front door. Then there was just a staircase. There wasn't anything else. It was just a staircase and a place to take your shoes off. And you would go up the staircase to the middle floor. And that was pretty much the main floor where all the rooms, kitchen, bathroom, all that shit was on. And then there was the attic. But no one fucking went to the attic because it was dusty and fucking awful. And you can't stay Nobody up there. There's probably bees the and spiders and shit. So I go downstairs and I look and sure enough, our fucking door is wide open and my friend Josh didn't lock it when I told him to when we went to bed. And I just screamed to them upstairs. I was like, yep, someone broke into our house and they run downstairs and they see the doors wide open. And I was like, didn't I tell one of you to fucking lock it? And Josh was just like, oh, dude, my bad. Like, I'm sorry. I was like, it doesn't fucking matter. I don't think she took anything because I caught her coming in. But I didn't know she was here to steal shit, dude. I just talked to a fucking robber girl. Like, I thought it was someone here to like... Hang out with you guys. My one friend just like, alright, whatever, I'm gonna call the police. I was like, alright, dude, I'm probably gonna go home. He's like, yeah, I don't blame you, I'd be pretty creeped out too. I was like, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. So I went back to yeah, my house right that night, and I just like sit there, and I'm on the phone with my mom telling her about what happened. Like, my friend keeps in, he's like, yep, please can really help and us, and cause she's gone, but left. you're welcome to come back tonight. I mean, or, you know, tomorrow. Come to my house I was and like, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this I want to come back. Fucking broke my nose He's like, no, nah, I don't fucking blame like, you, man. No, if I were you, I probably you wouldn't. Snuck into like, do you want me to swing by and drop all your stuff off? This? I was like, we sure, dude. Fucking, like, and they come like, by, both my friends. And they were both freaked out. They are like, I don't want to stay in that house anymore. 
I was like, dude, to be fair, she did not look harmful at all, and, and she was, like, like actually super it, nice it, to me it, when I talked to her, so him, like, maybe if she comes back, you guys could just reason with her and, you know, so hand yep. her one of your laptops and have a good day. And they both just told me to shut the fuck up and call me an asshole, and I was like, well, which asshole didn't lock the door? Because it wasn't me, I'm just saying. And that was pretty much the fucking end. They went home, and they stayed the rest of that month there, and they didn't have any more problems. I think they had some drunk guy wander in, actually, later in the summer. But he wasn't there to steal shit, and they were having a party, so the door was already open for people to come in. But still, having someone break into your fucking house and then talking to them face to face is pretty creepy when you don't know. I've it. talked to people but face yeah, to face. Fucking creepy been story to today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like this if you did time enjoy I've the video to today. This, this dude leave your stories in the comments down like, below. What are you Subscribe fuck if you're you new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. And he's like, Peace. Oh, I'm, I'm here to steal shit. I'm like, fuck. Fuck. Why would you do that? Why would you tell me, you fucking idiot? He's just like, I feel really guilty about it. My friend pressured me into it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, just leave now, and I won't do anything. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm nice, you know? Welcome to New Year instead of fucking Japan, where it actually See, fucking you know, I've snows. I've watched a lot of fights in my time being. I've seen a lot of people fight. Argue, you know, I've probably seen this fight. clip you know like I mean? seven like, times. Sure like, legit, too, like, no joke. Any of you go to high this dude sure doesn't use different clips. He should, like, record life, more. Whether it's an argument or an actual, like, fist fight. And I've also seen a lot of couples fight. Maybe you guys have too. I've told some stories about a few, a few ridiculous ones. I've seen but some crazy story time is by right? far one of the scariest I've seen fights escalate to nines. I've seen, I've seen random people So if you guys enjoy this story and, uh, you know, like the video, Shit, leave a like. Shit's and crazy let's start the story, okay? Don't ask. So this story time takes place two months ago. Fairly recent one. I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He invited his girlfriend over, and that's pretty much where it all starts, okay? Now, him and his girlfriend have one of the most toxic relationships I've ever seen in my life. They literally argue about everything, and it's, like, just petty arguing half the time. But sometimes it goes into a, a more serious type of argument where they're screaming in each other's faces. And sure enough, a fucking stupid petty argument broke out between them over what Netflix show to watch. So I was third-wheeling already, so I was already in a bad mood, so I didn't want to hear them argue. And they're arguing over what show to watch. I'm just like, guys, come on, pick a fucking show. Like, this is ridiculous. And she's like, yeah, it is ridiculous. Come on, pick a show. And I was like, uh, let's just, let's just watch, like, The Office or something. And then my friend goes, yeah, that's a good idea, Austin. Let's watch that. Try not to cheat on me while we do that. And he looks right at her. And I was like, dude, come on. Like, keep in mind, this girl's never cheated on him once. So, like... I don't know why he said that. Maybe she was, like, acting weird that week and texting other people and he's insecure and thinks she's cheating. But, like, he literally told me she's never cheated before. So I don't know why he said this to her. So, of course, it sets her off. She gets so fucking mad when he says this. She gets up, throws her drink on his floor, and was just so pissed off. She's like, I can't believe you just fucking said that. You know how good of a girlfriend I am to you. I've never been disloyal. Fuck you. Like, just screaming in his face. And I'm just like, oh, here we go. Here we go. And then he gets up and he starts screaming at her. So I'm trying to defuse the situation. I get up and I get in between them. I'm like, guys, you need you need some time. Like you guys need a break or something for a couple of days. And she's like, I need a break from him forever. I need someone better. And he's like, yeah, see, the truth comes out. The truth comes out. And she's like, I can't fucking stand you. I was like, guys, go in other rooms for a second. Let me talk to each of you. I, I'm, I'm not a fucking relationship counselor by any means. Anyone watching this, don't try and hire me for a relationship counselor. I will hire I you. I don't have do. a relationship. So right just want to meet you. Kitchen, I'm fucking I'm weird. Talk to her. He picks up the drink off the ground with like a couple of drops left in the cup because most of it spilled on the floor. And he goes, you fucking ruined my new carpet. You're a big fucking baby. And he takes the cup and then pours it over her head and just like literally gets those last few drops out on her head. And I, I, I couldn't believe it at that point. I was like, dude. What the fuck did he just do? Sure enough, she just loses her shit. She smacked no him shit, in the face and walks into the other room, the kitchen to be specific. And I tell him, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Why would you do that? He's like, she's a baby. I'm like, bro, how are you going to call her a baby and then pour a drink on her? Like, that's like, you guys are ridiculous. Like, you guys are both being so fucking immature. He's like, bro, she slapped me in the face. I'm like, yeah, because you poured a drink on her head. Like, you guys are being ridiculous. You're both fucking stupid. And he's like, dude, I don't give a fuck what you say. This isn't your relationship. It's mine. Butt out. Yeah, it's a like, toxic right, dude, ass Whatever you say, you want my help, whatever. Like, fuck it. And I back up because I don't know what else to do. So I'm waiting for her to come back in the room after she cools off. And it's taking a while. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go check on her. Stay here. He's like, yeah, whatever. So I walk into the kitchen and she's leaned over the counter sobbing with a steak knife in her hand. 
And immediately I'm just like, okay, like, wow, I'm really about to die right now. Either me or my friend are about to just get stabbed. Like, I'm going to become a human piece of steak or something. Yeah. So, of course, the first thing I say, I'm I like, I've had people think me with knives. As I said, she's, she's like, got I crazy. I've had anymore. people pull knives and I've had people pull knives and fight. And he's trying to yell from the other room, like, back at her. And I'm like, just shut up, dude. And I'm like, look, like, just put that steak knife back where you found it. Whatever you're trying to do with that, don't do. Whatever you're contemplating, don't do. Whether it's hurting yourself or anyone else, um, specifically, please don't stab me. And she starts laughing. I'm like, okay, okay, good. I got a laugh out of her. At least, at least she's not that psychotic where she's like immune to laughter. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, where the fuck did I sign up for this? Where did I sign up for this shit? The like, second you fucking decided to, to deal with their relationship, situations like I'm not that person. I was just there to watch some fucking Netflix with my homies, not try to stop no, one of the most it. toxic, ridiculous fights I've ever seen. So she it started a, a show called The Most the Toxic, counter, Ridiculous like, Fights That You'll Ever whatever See. Whatever that knife was for, don't do that again, ever. Like, I'm guessing it was just to try and scare him and get him to stop fighting with you. But, like, that is not how you handle a situation. Like, don't even consider thinking about that ever again. Like, that's fucked up. You know that's fucked up, right? And she's like, yeah, I know. That's why I didn't come out there with it. Like, I knew it was stupid. I just was holding it. And I was like, look, just go out there. Either work out your differences or split up. Clearly, this isn't the healthiest thing for both of you. I don't want to see this happen again. Like, just make the right choice. And she's like, thanks, Austin. And she gives me a hug. And she walks out there. Thanks, Austin. You're the best. I look at my friend. He's just and dead straight. What she the did. fuck are you saying? Like, yeah, I went in there and I a knife. Like, I was really Jack mad, is a very, he's a very nice guy, though. And I shit you not. Jack, Jack and goes, Brian are very well, nice. They're, I would they're rather good have people. anyone else stab me. And he hugs her and kisses her forehead. I'm like, you guys are, you guys are fucked in the head. You know that? And they just start laughing. And I'm like, I'm going to go. I, I got to, uh, I got to go. And they're just like, all right, have a good one. I was like, you guys have fun with whatever angry, scary, psychotic sex you probably end up having after I leave. Like, you guys are honestly, like, mind-blowing to me. And I left. That's literally the end of that angry, story. Angry, psychotic I left, and I just sex never that you guys wound up having. After that because it was just, I'm not the third wheel that diffuses fights. It's just not my job. But well, you fucking the story did it is, guys, hey, don't stay in a relationship if it gets to be that toxic. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this story or found it funny... Kind of mangs. I don't need to buy drugs in mine. I don't buy drugs, but still, like, I could, I could legit just walk five feet, you know, if I had fucking red deal. The fuck, woman? I am, I am wondering how the hell you were that good of a dweller. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that, but I can't. My hand's not yes, steady. Yes, So and if I just you've been using don't know how to draw. a couple years, you've probably heard of the deep web or the dark web, whatever people call it. It's like that second side to the internet where you're anonymous and there's tons of like hidden stuff on there. And you can use it for videos, streaming, almost everything the normal internet does. But it also has some illegal things to it, like hookers, drugs. I've even heard things about hitmen and like getting people to commit crimes for you. I don't know how accurate that is. I didn't probably believe it. Um, today's story time is about the dark web. The story time takes place two years ago. I was hanging out with one of my friends, and the whole two days that I was hanging out with him, he kept bragging that any day now he's going to get some LSD in the mail. Now, I already knew how he was doing that. It was definitely because of the dark web. So I told him, I was like, let me guess, dark web, right? He's like, yeah. And I was like, are you sure that's a good idea? He's like, yeah, man, he's a really trusted seller. I was like, how do you know that? He's online. He's like, cuz, he has, like, really good feedback. And I was like, alright, man, like, you do you, like, whatever. What? Hang on. Idea. He's like, yeah, yeah man, he's a really tr trusted seller. I was like, how do you know that? He's on online. And he's like, cuz, he has, like, Um, now 
would never recommend this. Don't ever try that at home, guys. And if you've watched my previous story times, you know that, like, in the past, with my experience of the deep web and people getting shit off there, it almost never ends well. Maybe we were just extremely unlucky, but I just don't think that's a good idea to ever try to buy drugs on the internet. Um, so anyway, the day came where the LSD arrived. It was the next day after he was hyping it up. And he lives with his parents. I don't know if he still does, but he did back then. He was 17. So he lived with his parents. And this box comes, kind of small, not the biggest box. And he was waiting on his bed, just staring out the window for the mailman to come all day. So when he finally came and he saw the mailman come up to the door and leave the package, he freaks out and he runs downstairs, right? Because he wanted to get to that mail Dark before anyone mailman. else could. Because his parents also opened the mail and he did not want them to question him about that package. So he runs downstairs, I follow behind him, he's going up to the front door, and right when we're about to get to the front door, we see that the front door is open, and we see his mom in the kitchen with all the mail. So my friend runs up to the kitchen table, and he's like, Mom, uh, I got mail, where is it? And she's like, oh, this? Oh, who sent you mail? Like, you never get mail. And he's like, oh, just a friend from Texas. And she's like, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna open it for you. And he's like, no, Mom, don't open my mail, that's illegal. And she's like, you live in my house. I can open whatever I want. Oh, hell she grabs yeah. box cutters and just Fuck cuts yeah. that bitch open. She just cut his package right Fuck open yeah. and starts opening it. And I don't think she'd usually be like this, but around this time, my friend was getting in a lot of trouble, and I think she expected that something was weird in the package, so she decided to take a look at his mail because she didn't trust him, and sure enough, she was right. There was something weird inside. So she opens this package, and immediately there's a CD on top, like a CD in the package, and it's like a blank CD, and she's like, what's this? And my friend's like, oh, it's just a DVD my friend sent me. And she's like, okay, there's nothing on it. And he's like, yeah, I know, it's blank. Like, she burned it for me. And she's like, okay. And then there's bubble wrap. And she starts opening up the bubble wrap. And inside was, like, this paper CD case thing. And inside there was, like, three little tablets. And she sees them. She opens it up. And she's like, what is this? And my friend goes, oh, they're just breath mints. Like, she makes her own breath mints. And his mom's like, oh, breath mints, really? And I'm trying not to laugh because I know what's going on right now. Like, she knows exactly what it is. He's caught fucking red-handed. And I'm in the middle of it. And it's kind of funny because I know I'm not going to get in trouble. Because I really had nothing to do with this. But, like, I just tried not to laugh. And he's like, yeah, mom, it's breath mints. Can I have them, please? And then she goes, oh, well, hold on. I want to try one. I want to try these homemade breath mints. And she goes to put one on her tongue. And she's obviously faking it. But my friend goes, mom, don't do that. And she's like, why? Wait, why, honey? Like, is there something not you know, right about these breath mints? Like, what's the problem? And he's like, Mom, just give me them. And she's like, go to your fucking room right now. And he turns around real quick and just went upstairs because he knew there's no argument he could make. Like, she was fucking onto his bullshit. And she looks at me and she goes, Austin, did you have anything to do with this? And I was like, come on, you know me. Like, obviously not. And she's like, I don't really know if I believe you, Austin. I was like, look, if it makes you feel any better, when he told me about this yesterday, I thought to myself, that is so fucking stupid. So, please, believe me when I say I had nothing to do with this. Like, I did not encourage this. I just asked him kind of why he was doing it and where it was coming from. And she's like, well, where is it coming from? And I was like, well, I have no idea. He bought it online from an anonymous source. Um, you can't really tell where these people are because, you know, it's on this really weird thing called the deep web. And then I tried to explain to her what it was, and she just didn't understand a thing about it. And she's like, wait, did he get it off Facebook or something? I was like, no, no, he didn't get it on Facebook. It's it's weird. It's it's the deep web. Like, it's no Facebook or anything like that. And she's like, oh, it's confusing. I was like, yeah, it is. But basically, she told me to go home after that because I was not allowed to hang out with him for a while. Because I understand. Like, she grounded her son. And obviously, having friends around He's isn't really a punishment. Him, so I had to leave. Like, legit, and I went it, home and just kind of sat down and played some Xbox. And he sent me a text later that night. I don't know how he still had his phone. But he was like, dude, I can't believe I wasted money on that shit. I was like, yeah, man, me neither. He's like, listen, next time I order something, can I order it to your house? I was like, dude, are you fucking stupid? No, fuck off. And he's just like, all right, fine, man, good night. That was pretty much the end. Listen, next time I order something, can I order it to your house? I was like, dude, are you fucking stupid? No, fuck off. And he's just like, all right, fine, man, good night. And that was pretty much the end of it. Like, he didn't mention anything about buying anything online after that to me. I can't even believe he tried to ask me that. Like, hey, man, can I use your house instead? That way, if anything happens, it'll just happen to you, not me. Like, no. But, um, yeah, he got grounded. He was grounded for, like, three weeks or something. I ended up seeing him after that. And, like, his mom was very, very strict after that. But yeah, guys, the story is, don't buy drugs on the internet.
um, or at all, honestly. Just cigarettes? stick to fruits and vegetables, okay? But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this story, eat your fruits and vegetables. More people than ever struggle with debt. No matter what your financial challenges are, I have like two 25 minute videos, so I know I'm gonna be able to like record a whole lot. TurboTax, QuickBooks, and Mint. What the fuck is Mint? Hey, it's you guys, it's Austin here, or Luna. So sorry for not making videos in the past few days, but I'm back now in full effect with a funny story time for you today. Hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a like if you do. Let's get into this. So this story doesn't specifically involve me, but it involves someone that I knew. Okay, let's just call him Chris, okay? Nice, yes, Chris. Chris wasn't completely right in the head. He wouldn't think before he does things. So this story starts off as a normal day. I went to school. I was hanging out at my table in my first period. He was sitting next to me. That's how I knew and Chris. He always sat next to me in the first period. And there was these two dudes that sat behind us who would always fuck with us, whether it was in a joking way or they were just being assholes. It never really got to me. Like, they didn't go out of their way to, like, bully me or anything. But I think they purposely fucked with Chris more. Like, I think they actually kind of bullied him in other classes, too. Because Chris would get really mad at them specifically. Like, I could, like, make a joke or fuck with Chris, and he wouldn't care. But, like, them, even if they made the slightest joke to me or him, he'd lose his shit in class and, like, make a scene. So, on this day, we're sitting there. Having